And um, people do this over time and they're able to acquire multiple properties. And the advantage of that is you're, you now have other people that, that are paying their money to help pay down your mortgage on the property. Because at any point in time when their lease is over, you could, you could decide I'm gonna sell that property and you still get the appreciation minus what your existing mortgage is. Um, so many people have a strategy of getting those, getting properties, renting them out, getting people to pay down the mortgage, and that can become a, a future uh, investment income for you, where let's say the mortgages are paid off. Well, now you have $1,400 coming in every month on a property that you no longer have a mortgage on. And, and if you buy four or five or six of those properties, you could be making seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month on, on properties that other people are paying for. And so there, that, that's been a, a very popular um, strategy over the last 15 to 20 years in our country is people buying properties and fixing them up. And they do one of two things. They either rent them out and, and do this uh, that I've been talking about here, or they flip them. And, and you buy a distressed property, you fix it up, and then you put twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 into the property, and you might be able to sell it for thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 more than you bought it for, or more than you bought it for plus the repairs, and now you've made fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 in a, a short period of time. So the real estate market is very attractive to people. Um, there, there's many people that invest in this and in, in flipping properties. And... Uh, there, there's a, a company that I would recommend that I work with called Renters Warehouse. And what they do is they basically manage the rental property for you. They can find you a tenant and they do the background check and they put that tenant in the property. They facilitate the agreement signing and the monthly collection of rent and any maintenance repairs that are needed on the property. They work with you and decide what you, as the owner, what you want to do to fix a particular problem. And they charge you $99 a month per property to manage it for you. So if you have multiple properties, incorporating a third party management company like that is a very valuable tool to help you not have to be in the midst of collecting rent, going to fix the leaky sink, um, having a third party there that can manage that process for you is, is a, a very valuable tool to have. So that, that's a company called Renters Warehouse that I use. There's many other companies like that that can help you in your property management process. Nobody can go out and buy 20 properties at one time and fix them all up. At least very few people can have that kind of money to do it. This is about something that you do little by little. So maybe the house that you lived in, um, you move to your next one, and now you rent that one out. Or you buy, you find something that's on up for auction, or you, you, you're in a property now and you say, hey, I think we could go ahead and, and buy this next one. So building a, a real estate portfolio is something that uh, many people do in conjunction with their stock bond investments or instead of. There's multiple different camps of people that think that, that real estate is the way to go completely or stocks are the way to go completely. Um, I'm of the mindset you want to get as many different opportunities as you can uh, to invest in to get as many different places of return as you can. Um, that's, again, the name of the game is what's the best place to get return on your investment and pay as little taxes as you possibly can.